Hi, we're Jordan and Jim. Two years ago, we left everything we owned and everyone we loved to move to Cornwall and fulfill our dreams. We bought a plot of land and for the last two years have been living on site whilst building our house. Follow our journey as we develop this adventure together, one vlog at a time. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden Golden, golden, golden things in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing Hi. golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair gold hair Looking after the stuff. Oh, Not interested. By my son. over splinters. Okay. 
Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. I'm gonna go and help uh, Jim up in the house today. We've got the plumber arriving this afternoon to sort out things in the bathroom. So we've got quite a few bits to prepare. <laughs> to preparate. So we've got quite a few bits to prepare before he arrives. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, you caught me. Wake up. I was just checking the inside of my eyelids. No wonder it's taking so long. <laughs> First job of the day is to scrape all of the bits of plaster that have fallen onto the floorboards. Um, because once we paint, we don't want all of the dust sticking to the paint, so it's better to do it now. electric cable. No, the, that little board up there. Yeah. Because I've got nothing to mark where those are. Once that board goes up there, I can't see where the, where these are. Oh, so oh, I've temporarily screwed that on there with the marks. I know there's one on the end and then the rest are marked. And then these ones are marked here. Saves you and time. then these bits I can see. In case you wondered what that was all about. I didn't even notice it, but that Makes sense. I'm saving. Yeah, well, otherwise you don't know where to put the screws. Mm. You literally haven't got a clue where to use yeah. the drill and you're up there holding thing with one arm. Of course. You can't investigate with any other hands because you've only got two. Yeah.
just a half day of work today because we're going to my sister's house for dinner and a little catch up. Uh, we've just had lunch. As Jim is finishing off the ceiling in the bathroom, I'm going to take this little guy <laughs> on a walkies. Hagen, would you like to go out? Would you like to go out? Out? Would you like to go walkies? <laughs> I take that as a yes. <laughs> the car still hasn't passed its MOT. We haven't bothered to do all the bits on it. We're still waiting for quotes, so ban it is. Should we go, Hagen? our favourite walks. I've taken you here before, Crowdy Reservoir, and it's got like a forest attached of pine trees. And I love it here because there's barely ever any people and you can kind of get lost amongst the trees and it's just really lovely. We don't have too many forests around us. We've got lots of beaches but not many forests so this always feels quite special. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter Uh, 
it's been quite a while since my last clip. On the walk back to the van, we saw an elderly gentleman that had fallen over and really hurt his head. Uh, the ambulance had already been called. Um, so I gave him, there was already people with him. I gave him some of our blankets. I gave him some water that we had in the van and uh, our like mattresses so that he had something a bit more comfy to lie on because he must have been freezing on the floor. Um, and then I've been sent up the road to wait for the ambulance because it sometimes can take 15 minutes, it sometimes can take hours. I've probably been here for 45 minutes now and there's still no sign of an ambulance. Um, so we're just chilling in the van, waiting, looking out, and hopefully he's gonna be okay. But as for going to my sister's later, don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Good morning guys. I'm sure you can tell that it's now the second day uh, from my appearance. Uh, sorry we kind of left you on the lurch there. Uh, but uh, we went to my sister's. We managed to get there in the end. We had a lovely evening, lovely dinner. It was lovely to catch up with them. And now it's early in the morning. I've just got a phone call from the ladies that were looking after that man saying they're in the same spot as last night and they have have blankets and van bedding and stuff so I'm gonna go and collect that now and I might as well take him on the little wander whilst we're at it. Let's go. So we just arrived and apparently the bedding is in a black transporter. So I think I can see two which isn't very helpful. Can I look inside them? this one trying not to look dodgy yeah there we go <laughs> this doesn't feel weird at all right let's get the stuff if i told you that i don't know where i'm going don't know what to say but i go without no If I got every word perfectly oh, weighted on a thin piece of paper, Ian Hagen, <laughs> I've been tucked up in bed for the last few hours. Can you hear him snoring? Um, I just feel really lethargic. Um, we had a late night last night. Um, this is just your reminder in the video to listen to your body. And if you feel like you need to take it slow, then take it slow. Life doesn't have to all be building houses and adventuring in vans and going to find new beaches. 
sometimes snuggling with your doggy and um, catching up on your favourite YouTubers mm. <laughs> is perfectly good too. Saying that though, I do need to get up. I'm going to make Jim a cup of tea and go and check on his progress. <laughs> I'm sure he'll just carry on sleeping. Ugh. I should be the last in 